Hey, I'm the professor, Dr. Chris McCusker. Welcome to another episode from the Quarantine Management Institute, where we are learning to learn in new ways together. This episode concerns leadership. We're going to cover four basic approaches to the study and analysis of leadership. I'll describe each one uh, and talk a little bit about how we're going to approach it here at the Quarantine Management Institute. Leadership is a very important subject, uh, one that um, has been uh, important for my own uh, background teaching as well as coaching. Um, I learned a lot about leadership from Professor Victor Vroom and most of the structure for studying leadership comes from him. I also learned a lot about leadership from my colleagues in uh, Georgia at the TurkNet Leadership Group. Uh, we'll be talking more about uh, Professor Vroom and the TurkNets. And I also learned a lot, a lot about leadership from co-teaching courses uh, over the years uh, with CEOs from Procter & Gamble and PepsiCo, uh, senior executives, uh, senior executive from Motorola, uh, having class visitors from any number of companies, too many to mention, uh, doing interviews uh, with my colleague Jim Phils of many uh, corporate leaders. Uh, so um, I, will, I will try my best to bring to bear the relevant experience on challenges of leadership during this COVID-19 pandemic. We're going we're gonna to get down there as we go through the, the next uh, several episodes. Let me uh, first uh, offer four basic ways to think about, study, analyze, and manage leadership. Leadership is a, is, is a subject which is um, relevant, I should say, before I get into those four methods. Uh, leadership is relevant to two people. You know, we could be having a negotiation and somebody has to lead that uh, process. We could be having a conversation which... Um, takes a bad turn, somebody has to lead us in a, in a better direction. Leadership is relevant to a team. Uh, there's a hierarchy necessary in any team structure. Leadership is necessary for families, for organizations, for communities, uh, for societies. So leadership is something that happens at every level. Let me offer a definition of leadership. This is a definition I learned from uh, Bob Galvin, uh, uh, Jim Phils, uh, who uh, was on the faculty at Yale uh, School of Management with me. Uh, he and I traveled to Schaumburg, Illinois, and um, uh, we got help uh, meeting uh, Bob Galvin uh, from our colleague uh, Pat Canavan, who was a senior executive at Motorola. Bob Galvin ran Motorola for about 30 years. Uh, his, his father, Paul Galvin, founded the company. His son, uh, Chris Galvin, was also a chairman and CEO uh, for a good while, uh, really a family that has achieved excellence in business uh, for, for generations. Uh, Bob was um, an intellectual. He, he really was a thoughtful guy. We spent about four hours uh, talking to him about Motorola's um, uh, leadership challenges over, over the years, his three decades of leading Motorola. But one of the things I, I, I want to share with you is his definition of leadership. I've read a lot about leadership, different books and textbooks and so on, but this is the best definition I've ever heard. Bob said, leadership is going first in a new direction and being followed. Going first in a new direction and being followed. That, that really has three basic ideas. Going first, which is a strategic uh, element, going first in a new direction, and then being followed, that has a lot to do with um, execution. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about uh, both uh, strategy and execution. Uh, Professor Phil Rosenzweig uh, has, has written about that in his, in his book, The, the Halo Effect, um, summarizing research on leadership and arguing that we do know Leadership makes a difference when it comes to strategy and execution. Going first in a new, in a new direction and being followed. There are different ways we can approach that uh, challenge. One, in, 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 uh, I'm borrowing uh, from uh, Victor Vroom here uh, and then adding a little of my own. Uh, the first approach to the analysis of leadership is the heroic approach. The heroic approach has to do with the person. We can think about leadership character. We will talk about leadership character. Uh, we can think about personality, we can think about strengths. But the heroic ap approach is focused on uh, the noun, uh, the leader. And uh, the basic question is what kind of a person should a leader be in a particular situation? The second approach is, the, uh, is, is what I call, and uh, Victor called, a situation approach. The situation approach has to do with creating conditions that enable effectiveness. Um, you, you, you set goals, for example, that creates a condition that people operate under. You, you set a time frame. Uh, you, you select people to be part of a team. Uh, you, you have resources in terms of information or financial resources, but you create conditions that lead to effectiveness uh, for a leader. Uh, a leader will create conditions for the team to be effective, uh, for example. So 
uh, heroic situation. The third approach to leadership is called matching. And this has to do with a leader's style fitting the situation at hand. So for example, in a, in a crisis such as COVID-19, uh, leaders should be autocratic. They should choose to take an autocratic style, uh, which has been shown to be more effective in a crisis. Uh, when you're talking about uh, decisions where there might be some controversy, uh, where you need a lot of input, uh, access to ideas, uh, you might take a different approach and be more participative. So lead, leadership can be analyzed according to the heroic approach, what kind of a person should I be? The situation approach, which is how, what kind of conditions do I need to create to enable my team to be effective? As well as matching, what kind of style should I adopt to match the situation at hand? The fourth approach is design. The idea is that leadership is about getting things done through other people, uh, going first in a new direction being followed, and you have to design a process uh, to do so. And the kind of process that you design uh, depends very much on the situation. So it is similar to the matching approach, except uh, it has to do with a sort of a creative art of de 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 defining step-by-step -step a sequence that's going to get things done through other people. Four types of leadership that we can uh, think about, four ways to analyze leadership, heroic, situation, matching, and design.